start a new Q&A video. Where is everyone? You all have asked for it, and now it is here. Q&A video number two. First and foremost, I gotta start out with a little bit of business. Look, I got my shirt. I've got this beautiful shirt for the Fanders Army, in case anybody wants to buy one. Look at this, it's so cool. Nice gray and white and yellow. And this one, as well, is my personal favorite, based off of a misleading compliment. They'll never find your body. More beautiful than I do. Come on, that's awesome, right? If you guys are interested in purchasing this shirt or a misleading compliment shirt, be sure to visit districtlines.com slash Thomas Sanders. And there's only like a thousand of the misleading compliment shirts, so please get to them soon. The first 500 actually get a discount, so there's a little bit of an incentive for you. So you guys saw the first Q&A video, you know how it goes, so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right in. Question number one! I could ask you so many questions, Thomas. I'm from Canada. Have you or would you ever consider visiting Canada? Where would you visit? Oh, the Great North, eh? Yeah, there's some prime snow going up there, huh? Yes, I would very much like to go up to Canada. I have to travel a lot more. There's a lot of countries I would like to visit. Well, shoot, I mean... Uh, it's gotta happen now, right? Uh, I gotta go on tour. Something like that. Let's go. Every country. Every country now! Hey Thomas, just wanna say thank you, because I'm also an actor and you inspire me every day. And my question is, how long have you been singing and who taught you? Thank you so much, man! I have been singing ever since I can remember. I can recall being a little kid in the back of my family's van, they had music playing and I was humming along to it trying to find harmonies. I didn't know that they were harmonies at the time, but... And that was really cultivated in elementary school up through high school in chorus. I loved chorus. It was a fantastic way for me to figure out how to blend with people and to increase my range and find pitch and learn the notes. And that is why I'm such a huge advocate of having arts in the schools because if there were no arts in my life, I don't know where I would have fit in to the curriculum, be, uh, or just how I would have survived. I can't even imagine. What's your funniest pickup line? Mine is, my name's Farine, but you can call me tonight. Did you invent the airplane? Because you seem right for me. The Wright brothers, uh, they invented the airplane. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have gone so historical for you, but can I call you? What is your favorite book to read? It'd be Fifty Shades- And Fifty Shades of Grey does not count. Oh, okay. Um, I guess Harry Potter is a close second. What is the most impressive thing that you can do singing? Most impressive thing I can do singing? Um, I like to riff. I don't know if that's impressive to everybody. It's like this clicking thing with your throat that helps you like go to notes really quickly. <laughs> you can do falsettos, which is like, it's a head voice. When you reach notes that you would otherwise not be able to belt to, as I have thus uh, demonstrated. You do a lot of things with your teachers and classmates. What's the most embarrassing question you've ever had to ask them? Oh yes, I have done quite a number of videos and they have all entailed something a little bizarre. Some of the weirdest questions I probably had to ask them would be, could I bring a puppy into the classroom? Where is your project? Uh, right. Here! Puppy! <gasps> puppy! Oh my God. Or would I be able to stack a bunch of the desks like a fortress? Who's ready for a new week of learning? Sorry, nobody's here? Maybe she'll just go away. Or would I be able to play in a rock band in front of a bunch of the students? Yeah! And so, will you please help me? Hey, Thomas Sander, have you ever been rejected by a girl? Oh yeah, lots of rejections. But it did inspire me to create quite a number of vines. So you wanna catch a movie? Sure. Ow! Oh! oh! You're a bad catcher, return these for me. What other voices can you do besides Dewey? Well, I can attempt a number of voices. I don't know if they're quite up to snuff, uh, but I like to do the stitch voice. It's just a lot of talking in the back of your throat. You take Stitch, and then you make him evil, and you get a little bit hot, yeah, and then it's Smeagol. Smeagol, yes. And then I can try a little bit of the Muppet voice, Kermit. Hi ho, Kermit the Frog here. <laughs> or his arch nemesis. Hi ho, no, I can't do that one. I think that's it, but I'm trying to work on others. 
what is your favorite musical and why? My favorite musical would have to be Into the Woods, and yes, I am super excited that the movie is coming out. It could be bad, it could be good. I'm really hoping it's good because I love that musical. And what is your dream role in a musical? It used to be Leo Bloom from the producers, but I already did that, so I guess now I'm setting my sights on Sweeney Todd. Do you have good nerves when you're doing your story time vines? Yeah, um, story time vines are the ones where I go and I narrate people's lives. And yeah, it can be a little nerve-wracking if you're not familiar with people. People keep asking me why people go along with them or why teachers let me do vines. Everybody's got a silly side. You just have to learn to embrace it. Ugh, I love my silly side. Hey Thomas, can you lick both of your elbows at the same time? I am pretty sure that is impossible. But of course I'm going to try. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. This is gonna look really weird out of context. Just don't, don't look at this out of context. Ah, ah, ah. And that will do it for this installment of Q&A. Before I go, you have all asked for it and I am here to deliver another thrilling, heart-stopping episode of Sacagawea the Hamster! Oh, she found her ball. And there she goes. She is a fascinating specimen indeed. Also, I'm here to present to you another thrilling series that I'm sure all of you are going to get such a kick out of. The Adventures of My Friends Who Live in New York. Today, I actually saw a homeless guy eating out of the trash can. Wow! It is like they're living in a constant wonderland. Thank you so much for watching, Fanders. Remember, if you want this shirt or the misleading compliment t-shirt, you go to districtlines.com slash Thomas Sanders to order some. And if you want your questions to show up in the next Q&A video, please keep using the hashtag on Vine. Thank you so much to everybody that submitted a question so far. It's been so much fun talking with you guys. Be sure to like and subscribe, and as always, keep checking out the Vines. Thank you so much, Fanders. Peace out.